Hey, it's Jeff Adams. Join me for another vlog in the car for Creative on the Mend. Wow. Well, I am back to the daily vlog. I had to take yesterday off. Gotta admit, I was a little bit tired. Just an extremely busy week. I then trying to stay on top of the vlogs as well. But man, alive. I just said, I had it in me, but I just said, I need to breathe a little bit. But I had to get through some administrative type work, all the fun stuff when you're working. So I took care of that. But I wanted to talk today basically about leaving a legacy. As you saw in the intro, you saw Paul Rubens as Pee Wee Herman passing by on his bike. And, you know, he passed away this, this past week and the world was shocked. He was a beloved actor, one of my childhood favorites. But you know, he had a past. And what I'm getting at with this is, you know, he got in trouble for exposing himself in a movie theater years ago. Maybe it was in the 90s or something. People always remember that there was jokes about him because, you know, the character Pee Wee was a huge character in the 80s. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. But through the years, he kind of redeemed himself. What do I mean by that? Is after he got arrested for exposing himself, he just kind of disappeared. But I was just kind of, you know, for some odd reason, all the vlogs I follow and the people that I follow, he just was in my YouTube feed. So I was just watching a lot of these videos and I was inspired because you got to leave your mark on this planet before you die. Life is too short. He didn't sit there and live in the past of being embarrassed for a wrong decision, but he made an impact wherever he went. Because the reason I know that, I didn't know him personally, but I do know for a fact that every video I saw of people that had an experience with this guy, he was kind. He was funny and he took time with people. And then some of the celebrities that knew him, he always took time to send him a, an amazing birthday card, Christmas cards. He was always thoughtful, getting people's gifts. He just seemed like he left a mark. And so I've thought about this before in life. I was inspired, you know, being a believer in Christ maybe 10 years ago, 11 years ago, it's cluttered at this point. It just seems like yesterday, but my childhood pastor that I grew up with, he passed away. And I had been to, you know, several funerals in my lifetime. And I went to that funeral. I mean, and it was like going to a, a concert or something. There was just tons of people there. And I started thinking, because, you know, most of the time when someone passes away with, so, you know, social media, you have a celebrity pass away, you have these type of individuals that pass away, it's publicized because, oh, they were a movie star or they did this or they did that and everybody feels like they're close to them. But going to Pastor Simon's funeral, that was his name, I was inspired. I'm like, wow, Pastor Simon's left a mark here of all these people that he influenced and had relationships with. It's inspiring. So life is way too short. How are you going to leave your legacy here on planet Earth when you're no longer here? Yes, you know, Paul Rubens is all over my YouTube feed, but soon, a new week will come. Little by little, Paul Rubin's star will fade. What legacy did he leave outside of film? What sounds to me that he left a very deep legacy with the people that he knew, or the people that he spent time with. And so that just challenges me as an individual, you know? I don't ever want to come on these videos and just like, hey, you need to do this. Because when I do this, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like trying to inspire myself just to be a better human being and just try to love people better and understand people better and just 
die to self every single day, to try to be an outstanding human being in somebody's life. And, and that should be a challenge for anybody that confesses to be a Christian. We have to die to self. We have to let the light of Christ shine in us, even when we don't feel like it. Like, I, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't feel like doing this today. Like, it just setting this iPhone up on my dash, it kept falling down, kept falling down, and I was getting aggravated. I was like, well, why, why am I even doing this? This is crazy. It's like, and then I, that was like the first time I got angry and I don't know when. I was like, this is, this is dumb, but it's probably because I'm on lack of sleep. I stayed up way too late last night. Well, I kind of went to bed early for two hours and then I got up like at 12 and I just started getting this creative mode and I stayed up to like four o'clock, you know, working on music. Probably not in the best of mind state right now because I probably need sleep. It's probably what's going on. It's just about knowing your body. But what, what legacy are you going to leave? I want to leave something amazing. Not something, I want to leave something in the physical, tangible sake, but I also want to leave stuff that inspired people's lives, especially my family. And just, you know, my kids, knowing that I loved them, no matter what, that's the legacy I want to leave. Leave them with the foundations like, you can do nothing in this world without Christ. I mean, you can, but you're gonna end up with a lot of zeros in the end because that's just the way the world works. Read the word of God, black and white, then there's red letters when Christ spoke in the New Testament. But read it, it will help you tremendously. But I'm also inspired that, you know, God's just doing amazing things and I'm just here. I get to meet incredible people. I met a lot of incredible new people yesterday that the Lord just kind of brings in my life through other relationships that I've established. And my mind's just blown. He's putting people around me that are very similar, you know, faith-wise and beliefs, belief systems as myself. And I'm, I'm just so thankful for that. I'm just thankful for that the doors that he continues to open and learning just how to be an outstanding human being and leaving a legacy, being that friend who will spend four hours on the phone with you when no one else wants to talk to you when you're going through something, being that person. I want to continue to be that in people's lives. I just want to help people at the end of the day. So I just want to challenge you but I'm challenging myself just to think about what really matters in this world. It's not a job. It's about leaving a legacy. And when you're truly in tune with the Lord and you're consumed with the mission of God that's given you to go preach the gospel and make disciples, if we're fortunate enough to have a funeral, leaving a legacy of thousands of people showing up. But it's also too, I was like thinking too, it's like, man, you know, everybody always celebrates when someone's gone. How come we don't celebrate people when they're here? You know what I mean? Just, you know, telling people how you feel about them. You know, I left a message for my daughter yesterday. She didn't pick up. Just told her I was proud of her. And she just decided to serve Christ and I just told her I was proud of her, left her a great message. So how come we don't celebrate people here when we're with them? I'm going to try to celebrate as much as I possibly can with people when they're here and celebrate with them. So until then, thank you so much. Vlog in the car. It's hot in Florida. It's either you get outside in the heat, but like right now, wanted to do this a little bit earlier, but it's rainy outside, cloudy. And I also found down the street, I found they built these basketball court. Gonna have to get a basketball and just start shooting. I'm so bad out of shape. Maybe that'd make me breathe, but it's gotta cool down here. It is unbelievable. Where I mean, we're not, we're, we're not even at the, the, the height of the heat here in Florida. But be inspired. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. And all the people that have subscribed as of late, 
like 52 new people subscribed. I thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And if you're just watching this for the first time, hey, hit that subscribe button. It helps out. And hey, comment. Make sure you guys comment. Please comment down below. That really, truly helps YouTube to point people. You don't have to. I'm just suggesting it. So until then, see you tomorrow on Creative on the Mend.